All right, hey, what's going on, guys? So there's a lot going on right now, but one thing I want to talk about very quickly is that the uh, the tragedy that had happened over the weekend or this past week with the Astro World Festival. If you if you don't know what that is, basically it's just this music festival. Travis Scott at the time was performing, and basically these uh, students or kids uh, were getting trampled on, and other things uh, happened so that a lot of people got injured, and basically eight uh, students were killed, and so. Uh, it was a lot of teens, a lot of younger adults and things like that that were there. So this stuff is happening and if you haven't seen it, obviously it's very obvious that it is a, a worldly, very demonic, very satanic sort of ritual. You might brush it off as, no, it's not a big deal, come on, it's just a music festival. But if you see the icons, the images and things like that, you know that it is uh, in that realm. So uh, I'm not going to de debate that, but what I want to talk about is uh, with this, with you know all the the children vaccines being approved the fda and some of the the controversy in the education systems basically the crt is one of them as well as basically dictating what the curriculum is and there's a lot of legal battles and things like that going on and people going up to education board meetings and declaring certain things on what to teach what not to teach is that legal and all this stuff basically there's a lot of things going on right now in the world with regards to the youth and the education systems the indoctrination you could talk about all of the worldly things uh, social media electronics and just people diving deeper into a world that was in previous generations not necessarily uh, so readily accessible and the devil knows what's going on with regards to the current times and how he, how he wants to use all of these things to divide to conquer and to distract people from the uh, the the righteous things godly things and people coming to know Christ ultimately and so what i want to talk about is just that you've got to be aware you got to be aware first and foremost and this is something that not many people are going to maybe even necessarily agree with or uh, you know have foresight or knowledge to but I believe that this next generation is going to be one of the greatest generations of all of history we're going to see a lot of harvesting we're going to see a lot of uh, kingdom oriented you know uh, things going on that is going to parallel in some sense uh, the kingdom and in a uh, kingdom on earth but before you know Christ comes and all that stuff and so again that that stuff I'll talk about later but what I want to just briefly mention is that with everything going on, you got to be cognizant. You got to be cognizant of the war, the battles that are going on for the souls of our kids. And the one thing that, this, that Satan does before anything that he is at least has a foresight or knowledge to before it happens, before blessings happen, before certain things happen, is that he wants to fight that before it happens. So he always wants to take something. And if you ever have gone to, you know, before ch a Sunday church service, before a retreat, before a ministry, before a mission trip, whatever it is, you know that there's spiritual attack, there's spiritual warfare before that. And, and Satan knows, the devil knows what would be, happen after that, the, the good things, the blessings and all that stuff. And so before that happens, he always wants to prevent that from happening. And so that's what's happening in this generation is that he's attacking, he's indoctrinating, he's trying to divide, he's trying to win as many souls as possible to him before the great harvest, before the kingdom age, before, you know, all these different things that are going to happen. And more, many people are not going to believe me. They're going to think, no, we're heading into the end times, crisis coming, you know, sometime next year, whatever it is. But they don't, they don't want to believe that. And that's okay. If you have some skepticism, I understand that. But you got to realize that in this current age right now, this stuff is no joke. If you look at the Astro World Festival, if you look at all of the, the education systems, the progression towards one to indoctrinate people with CRT, with many other things, with removing creation, removing the Bible, removing all these different things that were taught and have uh, been biblical in some sense, removing all that and then moving into uh, a progressive, you know, liberal or whatever uh, agenda that people have, as well as all of the different things that are happening with, with evolution of technology, with all of this access to information, with all the social media platforms and everything that's going on right now. If you don't see all that and and understand that Satan is warring for the minds of the next generation then you are uh, unaware you're ignorant in some sense and so I'm encouraging people to see that 
this stuff, it's not a joke. Astro World Festival and all that, you might think, oh, no big deal, don't worry about it. It's just like a festival, just get over it, whatever it is. But these are small stepping stones that Satan is using to distract, to divide, and capture and win the hearts of this next gener generation. And so, again, you got to be in prayer, you got to be cognizant, you got to be aware of Satan's devices and what he's doing. Because, again, you can argue about what's to come. A lot of people think, okay, well, Jesus might come next year or whatever. I think, and again, I'll talk about this more later, that we, we are in the midst of something great. Uh, in the midst of a turn in, in history, the greatest, uh, some of the greatest moves of God in our generation, as I've talked about before. But you've got to be aware what Satan's doing. He's not letting up. Everybody else, all the Christians that are complaining, they're divided against each other, they're arguing. Satan is just going right about trying to do his next thing, his next move. And you got to see it from that perspective. you got to see it and, and pray. Uh, you have to take action. Prayer might even not be enough. You have to take action, right? For many of us, whatever stewardship we have, whatever community we have influence over, whatever family member, whatever thing that you have a, an allotment to, Take it, seize it, run with it, and do it for the glory of God. And so, again, guys, this is no joke. This is not a time to just be laughing things off. This, it's not a time to be casual. It's not a time to be lukewarm. You've got to step up. The next generation, our kids, the, our, our, uh, this generation, in some sense mine, uh, uh, millennials and the Alpha, the Gen Z and all that, these guys are the next big players for what's coming up in the, in the kingdom move of God. So God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.